Let's go in there and see him. Before we go in, I want you to... It might be best you don't say anything about the rehab to the kids or any of your experiences in there. How's that? Vacation, as far as I'm concerned. How about that? You got it. That's good. Thank you, man. I'm sure. That's how we roll. Good shit. Good shit, too bad. Six on a ten scale, I presume. On a five scale? We're gonna be early. Man, I was totally in my energy zone during graduation. Did y'all see me float across the stage without even moving my legs? Gee, you were wearing a dress. You couldn't even see your legs. See? Couldn't see my legs. I was invisible. Thanks for letting me buy you lunch. Hey, Ray, Joe, can you come into my office for a minute? I want to show you something. Ha, 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 Ray, man. The master. Listen, baby. Ray, how are Holding you, man? down the fort. Killing engines, my man. Have a seat, gentlemen. The reason I called you in here is I'd like to illustrate a point to you. 
about how to deal with customers and how you can make it seem as though they're making their own decisions, okay? Case in point. I happen to have a deck of cards here. It's a typical deck of cards. It's not stacked. It's just a legitimate deck. And I want to show you how this theory works, okay? Do me a favor. Would you pick a card, any card, but don't look at it. Great. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few simple questions so you decide what that card is, okay? Okay. Simple questions. Don't stress, okay? Just the way you feel, all right? Now, each deck has two types of cards, black and red. I'm going to let you choose black or red, and you tell me what I'll take. So what would you prefer? I'll take the black. Which means I get the? The red. There you go. Now, we have... Amongst the red, two suits, diamonds and hearts. Among those, which do you take? Uh, I take the hearts. Which leaves me? The diamonds. There you go. And amongst those, we have face cards and we have number cards. You would choose? The number cards. And therefore, I would get the? The face cards. There you go. Now, with the face cards, we have jacks, queens, kings, and aces, OK? There's low jacks and low queens and high kings and high aces. Which do you choose, jack queen or king ace? I'll take the jack queen. Which leaves me the? The high ace and the high king. And among those, which do you take? I'll take the king. Which leaves me? The ace of diamonds. Bingo. They go out there and kick some ass, boys, huh? Greg, you're fucking awesome. The best. I guess that makes me a fucking mind reader. I made you think so, huh? Go out there and kick some ass, boys. Okay. Lesson learned. Ray, so how's it going, man? Uh, Gwinnett Blitz starts tomorrow. Bullshit. That's right. Goodbye, sweet commission map. Hello, burnt territory. Really, man, they've worked those poor bastards to death. Oh, Dea. They said getting out of school for the summer. Ball Dea. Blitz sucks. However, making money. the boys. Excellent. Look at Sean. I see yeah. slow Sean back in the back. 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 Back over there, Dad. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Which no, one no, of you no, ladies no, wants no, to no, carry no, this? No, 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 no. Oh, it's not me. Oh. <laughs> Man, a kid can only take so much shit from their parents before they go off the edge. Then there's nothing you can do. Yeah, well, it's not the end of the world. She'd eventually gotten out. You know what the fuck you're talking about, Dr. Freud? Yeah, maybe she wanted it to be the end of the world. I mean, her parents weren't much better than rehab. But you... <laughs> I'm not riding bitch this time, you motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, crew, today is a day for big sales. Or, or was it big sales? Well, actually, I don't well, know. Well, actually, actually, it's... <laughs> hey, Leon and Eli are meeting us out on the map. Sign of AIDS. <laughs> Where's your rash, man? It's uh, kind of better, to be honest. Um. Oh, Jesus! Put that thing away. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, as far as I know, uh, a rash is not a sign of AIDS. Um, but why are you concerned, man? You uh, been doing it without a rubber? 
yeah. I mean, you can't feel anything with the damn raincoat on. Uh, yeah, you can't feel anything when you're dead either. Yeah, well, from what I hear, a lot of black people these days get AIDS. Just like got to do with you. Well, you know how me and Steve are always uh, joking about how I'm black in all the right places? We're not kidding. Uh, I, I don't get it. You see, my dad's Puerto Rican mulatto. So, in other words, I'm half black. Oh, yeah, I know, I know what it means. Wait, your dad in Fayetteville? Yeah, I mean, he's not really my dad. I mean, he was married to my mom. But I thought he was my real dad. It really fucked with his head. And my mom finally broke the news to him. I only found out about a year ago. That was about the time she kicked you out, right? Yeah, well, it was not really because I was black she threw me out. More or less because I freaked out when I found out. I mean, I told Steve. Well, told me him. Well, let me back. I told Liam once because he was black enough. Never noticed. I think it just made him a little more awkward. I guess he thinks I'm his bro now, in some weird way. Well, I mean, if you think it's something that you need to talk about, then you, you should, and you should. But, uh, you know, I don't think people really think it's that big of a deal anymore. I mean, it's nothing you should be ashamed of. It's the only family I've got. Sean, you know how we feel about you, right? I mean, all of you kids, y'all are, are like, you know, little brothers I never had, children all rolled up in one crazy mess we call the crew. And you know if there's ever, you know, anything you need to talk about at all, whatsoever, I'm, I'm here for you. You know you can depend on, right? Keep that smile, man. That's the way I like to see you. It feels better too, doesn't it? <sighs> hey, kiddo, tomorrow is going to be a new lease on life for you. I can feel it. Yeah, man. I'm freaking. Oh, well, that's great, man. Let's see if you can scam a few more sales tonight, okay? Eight's case. And Sean, why don't you wear a rubber before you uh, open the sale next time, huh? Scam this. It's your stop, big guy. Duke's a hazard style, my friend. Oh. Pick you up here in a little bit, okay? Yeah. Kick some ass! Yeah. Let's go home. I wish we could have gotten Sean a couple more sales tonight. Just to get him back in the swing of things. He doesn't want to see his dad tomorrow. Good mistake. Asshole. Sean knows how to do it. You gotta like, kick Sean's ass. I remember from when we were little. He's just setting Sean up for a let down. He said him and his dad were never that close, but maybe eight years will have made a difference. Maybe it won't be a let down after all. Besides, if you never try, you most definitely will never succeed in anything in life. Yeah, I guess. I could still say he's better off without me. I'm sick and tired of riding, bitch. Hey, Eli. Pull over up here. I think that's Joe and Leon. 
looks like they might need a little bit of help. Alright, I'll run out and get them. Alright. Sir, you can't threaten people with physical violence just because they're trying to sell you something. Yeah, right. How's about I throw your smart little faggoty ass down that hill? Sir, then I would have to have you arrested, too. Now, do I also detect a little gay discrimination? Yo, you're hacking this ugly honky shit. What are you doing? This guy has a problem with gays. What? <laughs> Sir, we've striven long and hard as homosexual paper boys to create a greater consciousness. Based on your express bigotry, you really need a subscription. You know, get up on the times, maybe find that special friend, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Bet you shit would be an anorotic dick. <clears throat> How about a prostate exam next? Stand by. I'm only walking away from you because I don't like you. It has nothing to do with that toy you're waving around. Sir, excuse me, but okay. I would not have just done that. If I was you. Just take it easy, son. Just take it easy. Oh, son. No, no, you see, my father was and is a decent man. And he taught me many lessons. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm about to have to teach you one of those lessons. Now, I believe it is time for the homo Paperboy Club to rise against tyranny. Uh, and just take it. Just take just let it happen. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Without that 44 Magnum penis extension, I'm just another redneck, homophobic hothead with a wet weenie <laughs> standing face to face with a bunch of sissy boys with an attitude. Now you go brag to your butt buddies about how you kicked our asses. You closet cake. Nothing to say? What a friendly guy. Get in, McD. Go, Go McD. McD. Go, McD. <laughs> Go, McD. It's your lanky Highlander hat in this car, man. Watch <laughs> it, Michael Jordan boy. I'm going to kick your Michael Jordan ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want some raisinettes, some jujubes, and that asshole's paying for it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need to be the Highlander when I'm dragging your ass behind this car. <laughs> Excalibur sword swinging like plunkety plow, plunkety pow. Hey, Leon, what'd you get? I got your daddy right here. been holding out on us. I'm invisible. Oh my god. Where's she? <laughs> no dude, I swear to god, tonight I was invisible. And there's this guy. Walked right by me. Didn't even say a word, not even a hello. Just walked right by, got in his car and drove away. I mean, I could have gotten in the front seat with him, 
You wouldn't have even noticed. I was invisible. I am speechless. I have that effect. The silence of youth often persuades when speaking fails. Shakespeare? That's right, Albie. My man. Hey, I'm literate. When words are scarce, they are seldom spent in vain. A gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> yeah, well, whenever Albie's not talking, I just assume he's letting out a deadly fart. Ray, I hope you realize you're captain of a ship of fools. <sighs> Carload of idiots. He was a fag, but a righteous fag. I like your silence. It all the more shows your wonder. Will shaking his spear again. I heard you're into guys. You like that? <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 When they're not looking in the locker room. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still talking to you. I don't know why you're talking to me. See, listen. You're into guys. Listen, I don't know why I'm listen, close to you. I'm not into guys. <laughs> What happened to you last summer? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, you grew. You mean these? Yeah, are they real? Of course. <sighs> so you got a joint? Always. Nice. You mean the joint? Well, yeah. But now that you mentioned it, you grew too. Yeah, I'm 17, three months. <laughs> and three months, ooh, that makes you a man. Well, what are you doing here all by yourself? Where's Steve? Uh, Steve and his family are coming up here this afternoon. Your mom would just let you be with him all summer? Yeah, she just wants to get rid of me, get her new two kids. Tell me about it. My mom's on her fourth, but no more kids. I'm still her princess. Yeah, I know. You gonna light that thing? Oh yeah. You want a shotgun? <coughs> you don't have to hide that. Uh, I wish you would hide those. <laughs> Sorry, that's impossible. Are you hot? Yeah, kind of. You want to go to the house and cool off a little bit? There's this joint.
who's getting in the way. <laughs> I guess I'm not hiding anything anymore. I can see that. Don't worry. I've got it. What? The condom. You know how to use it? Uh, I've heard. <laughs> you mean virgin? Gay? Yeah, and I don't know. Well, let's find out. Today's your life. All right, space case, get off my car. No, no, I think what William Shakespeare was saying is that if you're young, you're not expected to know everything. And if you're silent and persuaded by your youthful beauty and your innocence, you guys get away with it ignorance that I'd be shot for. That's why they buy from you. In some strange way. It's like they're buying back a part of their innocence. Yeah, well. They all love me because of my invisible beauty. <laughs> Where do you come up with this shit, cheat? <laughs> all right, fellas. I'm gonna go meet Joe at the Cotton Club. Thanks for the sales, like Not just sales, life, and the poetry of persuasion. Maldea. <laughs> Fazlanka. tonight. It's the most we've sold in a very long time. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, don't sound so excited. I know everybody was jazzed about Sean coming back. What's wrong with that? Because what goes up must come down. I mean, Sean's a good kid, but he's trouble for the crew. And if he has problems, the crew has problems be so hard. Everybody deserves a second chance. I mean, you'd appreciate a second chance if you had a bad history. Yeah, but I didn't. Ray, you can't have a crew full of bad apples. So, unlike bad apples, people's wounds heal. You gotta have a little more compassion. In the meantime, keep it to yourself until your heart has time to heal. Right now, get your mind in action. <clears throat> Here she comes. Hey, Debbie, can you read minds? I can read the SP. No. Well, I'm going to see if you can read my mind. I am going to write down a number and a suit. You know, regular playing cards. This piece of paper. And I will bet you will be able to guess what card it is. Joe 
let you two read each other's minds. Bob, that, yeah. No man chance. Yes, we can say it. you like to call talented musicians you need to back off oh i need to back off yeah how about you need to back off motherfucker yeah that's what you get now karma for liking prick Mess around, but a lot of folks out there with time on their hands and they waste it all away instead of doing what they can. Got a brain, got a mind, got some time. Better spend it while, waste it all the way. You're regretting it, it's your demise. Hey, you ready? Yeah, we're gonna have to get this shit done. Yeah, we're gonna have to get this shit done. What do you mean you can't? I know I can. No, I know I can. Of course. Can you fuck? Can you fuck? Yes! Of course you can. That's seduction. That's getting sick. Jeb, Jeb's a fucking red He's a creepy handsome. Are you you Jeb? Jeb, 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 Last time they missed work was when Steve's ex-girlfriend was getting an abortion. Yeah, that's my kid. Not the only one. <laughs> yeah, I hope I'm not the only sterile salesman in this place. All right, guys, here's the boss. Here's the boss. Let's give me a hand. The boss. The boss. Thank you, boys. You ready to kick some ass? Yeah! I look in your eyes, and I see every one of you as warriors. Do you see that? Yeah! We didn't come here to praise the competitions. We came here to bury them. Am I right? Yeah! That's right. You've got to believe in what you are and who you are. Reminds me of the old warriors thousands of years ago. You listening to me, young man? My great-grandfather was on top of a mountain thousands of years ago. Civilizations. Today, we have wars going on in Iraq, in Iran, Afghanistan. But once upon a time, in a hill of Rome, there were two giant armies that had amassed. And on one hill, there was a great king. And the king was readying for battle. And he had his young squires, just like you men, just like before you. him. He had his horse, his giant steed prepared. He had his armor placed on the, on the squires. He had a spear. And he had his sword. And like you, he was ready to kick ass. I'm sorry, I'm hard of hearing that here. What? Kick ass! That's it. So he gets on his horse, and just as he's about to ride into battle, a young squire comes up to him, and he says, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, what is it? Uh, th there's a guy here who wants to, well, he wants you to buy something. <laughs> buy something. I'm about to go into battle. We may lose 10,000 men today. Our entire lifestyle, our civilization may come to an end. You're asking me a question like that now? Get the hell out of there, you schmuck, you, you biatch, whatever the hell he called him. Beat it. So he went back to the salesman, dejectedly, and he told him what the king had said. And the salesman looked down, saddened, and he picked up his machine gun, put it in his bag, and he went home. Mm. What does that tell you, boys? Sell the machine gun! Right. Yeah. 
exactly. Go into the machine gun business. No, it doesn't tell you that. It tells you to never give up, never quit, and always believe in yourself. Because, boys, I believe in you. Do you hear me? Yeah! Without further ado, I'd like to introduce our vice president of circulation, the guy who pays us the uh, big bucks, <laughs> Mr. Dick Cunningham. Ah! You had me out here today. Circulation is so important. Just, I, I don't know what it has to do with machine guns, and and uh, G Greg lost my speech. And I, I, circulation is really important because without the circulation, we wouldn't have circulation, and the papers wouldn't be out there. And, right, that's right. Right, yeah. 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 guys. Yeah, all right. That guys. Let's go out and get them. It's not like I could work anyways right now. I can't believe Dad would just forget about us like that. I told you he was an asshole. Don't blame yourself. I guess, well, give me the phone. Let me see if he's home yet. down there for an hour, waited for you. Where were you? Okay, well, do you think maybe we can meet again downtown? Wh why do you... No, why do you want to get together with me again after all these years? I never could talk to you. All you could do is yell at me. If you weren't yelling at me, you were hitting on me. If you weren't hitting me, you were hitting mom. Just like the good old days. No! No! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you!
It's not like you can make it anyways. That's for sure. It's for people who get their asses off the couch. Couch potato. Shut up. Steve, there's a letter, sweetie. My now, Janine. Sorry, I like your new haircut, but my hair's sexy. To the neighborhood dogs. Sean loves me because he is a dog. Dude, your mom is like really hot. That's disgusting. Yeah, man, the more disgusting the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan have highlighted a willingness of America to give Come up. Come on, Sean. Let's fighting. get out of here. Let's see if we can find Ray on the map. The younger first president Call the radio room. We'll meet him. Okay. So far, okay, Steve. No it's already open since you didn't seem interested. Look, Janine, later. I gotta go. But you're in. One step closer to law school. Yeah. Dad will be proud. But I'm not going to law school. Ball day, yeah. So you got in? Yes, you have. Yeah, after I was waitlisted. He just wants another trophy. They can't even let me get into college before they put up another one of their hoops for me to jump through. Waitlist or not, it's all cheap consolation prize. At least you have it, Dad. Have them meet me over at uh, Thornton and Lawrence. 20 minutes. 10 4. How you doing today? Yeah, you know, I just checked the front door and I thought I thought I heard someone scurrying back here. Hi. What's up? I'm uh I'm Joe from the Atlanta paper and I'm here to service you. I'm here to check on your service. Um, you do get it, right? Uh, the paper, you get that? No. We don't. But, Daddy wants me to start reading the paper. He's not in here right now. Oh. Is, uh, is your mom here? Or anybody? Are 
you the man of the house? Well, I guess you could say that. Did you think I labeled my daddy? Well, you just look so young. I'm with the Atlanta paper. I'm out checking on service today. Well, come on in. Are you currently getting the paper? No, but I've been thinking about it. Oh, me too. <laughs> well, your advertisers are currently subsidizing the rates for new subscribers in the area. If you buy Sunday, it's normally $1.25 by itself, but you get the rest of the week for free. Isn't that great? How long could I get it for at that price? Well, the longest I can let you have it, you know, to lock it in at that rate, is for five years. All that it requires is that you pay in advance. I only want three years. How much is that? Uh, 195. Okay. I'll take two. Hey, I'm gonna call Winnie. I bet he'll want one. Lenny, Gazelle. A gay girl. I'm sitting here with the cutest little paper boy. He's selling us a subscription. Yes. I think I'm gonna fuck him. We thought that you would, uh, you would like something from him too. Yes. Okay, girl. All right. Bye-bye, bitch. Just sign here and I'll get you started tomorrow. Now, don't rush off. Hey, listen. My boss would just kill me if he knew that I had stayed. I'll tell you what though, I'll give you my number and we can meet up later. It's really easy to remember. It's 555-6969. You got it? Yeah. Okay, bye. I hope he just gives up on his dad. I think he's gonna freak out if he doesn't. I'm not freaking out, okay? Thanks. Thanks always for your guy. Hey, Sean. What's good, man? I can't sell shit tonight. It's because of that fight. You'll be all right, man. And trust me, in this line of work, you will definitely get used to shit like that. Yeah, I'm sure I will. What, do you think I stopped selling just because my daddy gave me shit? I'd be out of my ass by now. Not only that, I think he'd be pissed if he didn't at least hit me once a day. I know he cares. But anyway, it sounds like you're lucky yours isn't around. He hit me all the time. And from what I know, he didn't like me much. Or my mom either. Oh, no, 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 no. I know my dad's never gonna hit my mother. On strength alone, she'd beat him till he looked like a monkey's ass. Anyway, if he getting mad, he'd just go outside, take it out on the dog. Thought it made him mean. <laughs> Is he mean? Red nose pit, yeah, he's mean. I mean, my dad used to put the bowl out of the length of his chain. You know what I mean? Dog would just sit there, broke so many goddamn chains. So, I mean, real talk, he got plenty strong between the beating and no eating. Sounds like my life. Then he get drafted. Man, I told you, they don't draft losers. They ain't ever gonna get me. You're getting too serious. I mean, look at you, at least you're white. Come on, I'm lucky to be alive. Next to the drugs, drive-by shootings, fights, then my old man. I mean, we were fighting some revolution out here in the Civil War in these streets, why? So we can look like some porch monkeys with an attitude? Oh, it's funny, a nigga's lucky to see 30 in America. Even then, we probably just kill ourselves to get by. I know I'm on my way to join the Revolutionary Brothers in jail. And the all-American dream is not all it's cracked up to be either. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I know my dad and Janine don't beat me or anything, but dude, if you had to hear a speech every time you didn't do something perfect, you'd wish they hit you instead. You guys are just pussies. Everybody's life is tough. 
But anything you survive just makes you stronger. I know when I'm in a tough situation, I can get out of it, you know, make the best of it. Take tonight, for example. Steve, you had those drag queens, like, trying to pick you up the whole night. You didn't get pissed off. You got in there, you made the sale, you got out. Life is sales, man. Just a series of controlled failures with a few successes. Your life is perfect, though. My life's not perfect. My mom died before I even knew her. My dad and I, we had to live with my grandma till I was 10. She was this mean old Scott, made you eat shit you never even asked about. Ah, we were piss poor. You know what that means? Not a pot to piss in? We didn't have anything until my dad got into sales and started making money. Y'all know how that goes. Meanwhile, you just gotta hold on and swim. Can't sink and hold your breath hoping to come back up. At least if you hold your breath, you pass out. And you die. This is the special rock. This is the special rock. This is the special rock. You got the stuff? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, but I get the potion first. I'll kill you if you're not careful. I mean it. I'll kick you in the balls. Your best friend just sucks for this. Alright, now you. Let's do it. That's disgusting. We're men. Yeah. We're not boys. We're children. We're men. You'd have plenty of money if you'd just stop that shit. Plus, you'd sell more. <laughs> Man, you're gonna lose your job. You move back in with your mom? This shit. Besides, I couldn't sell as well if it wasn't for the coke. And the X? And the acid? <sighs> I don't need a damn sermon. Dude, you know Ray would kill you if he knew, right? Well, you didn't tell him, did you? Oh, hell no. Best not do. 
you would just straighten up, move back in with me and my dad, you wouldn't even need it. Plus, with the Chi Man and the Yard God living there, you have plenty of friends around all the time. A lot better than those freaking crazy Rasta drug lords. Dude, they're cool too. They're my friends. Right. So what are you guys arguing about? Nothing. Just go to the living room. Why don't we go to the bedroom instead? Hey man, I go study for this test, bro. Test? Yeah man, Chi and Albie have a test tomorrow. So there's some advanced college courses I'm trying to get out of. So dude, I gotta go. Is he really gonna fuck that slut? That's what I said. I need his ass kicked. Yes and no, I don't know. I, I guess I've been in a whole new world lately. You don't need to talk to me about anything, right? Yeah, but I mean, there's just certain things I like keeping to myself. I don't really like telling anybody else. I, I got crew in the morning, so uh, I'm gonna need some sleep. That's all right, I have stuff to do too. That's right. DH Ball in the Corner Podcast for the cash in your pocket. Hey, Emma, I can count on seeing y'all real soon. That won't last as long as y'all team. It never lasts as long as y'all team. 
Sean, thanks to you, we will be stuck in what's affectionately known as the traffic zone. Do 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 Five dollar fine for tonight's stop rep. Get in. Yeah, I'm cashing in too. wrong? What do you think, dick? What? Man, I waited at your apartment after school for like an hour. <laughs> By the way, your whore was looking for you. She's stupid. Why are you there? I mean, the least you could have done is, you know, let me know if she was catching a ride from somebody else. You could have given me a call. You sound like my mother. I forgot to tell you I was picking up an eight ball downtown, okay? <laughs> With what? My bike? No, I mean money. I got it from the bartender. I told him I'd sell half just to pay him back. You're not gonna have any left to sell. Yeah, Sean, thanks for the five bucks for top rep. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna win top rep tonight just to get it back. That's right, man. I'd like to see the old Sean kick some ass tonight. Nah, I'm gonna get it. Ball day it. What are you thinking about? What is going through your head? Ah, uh, God, I'm just been thinking about Leah. She's dead, Sean. Yeah, that's why I've been thinking about her. She came to me last night. What? She kissed me and I became a part of her. That's too weird. Fuck you, man. You don't understand anyways.
Ma'am, don't you ever go grocery shopping? Of course I do, but I've already told you I never use coupons. Well, how could you if you don't get the paper? If you got the paper, you'd use coupons. More than enough to justify the cost of your subscription. I wouldn't use them. And look, I've tried your paper, and it just ends up laying in the yard, and I'm left with a stack that I have to pick up and throw in the trash. I don't even read them. And what about your husband? Son, my husband is dead. <sighs> well, ma'am, seems like a smart woman would at least bother to pull a few coupons out of the paper. Just to justify getting a few dollars a week. Unless you just have money to waste. Well, I guess I do. Good. Then let me have some to get your paper started today. Son, I don't want your paper, okay? Come on, ma'am. Help me out here. I'm trying to make an honest living, and we're offering a great deal on the paper. What's wrong with that? Son, you don't look old enough to be worrying about making a living. I pay my own rent, ma'am. And I really need for you to buy a subscription, or I'll probably get fired. I can't believe you're pulling this on me. What was your name? Oh. Well, I'm going to be calling the paper. This is just ridiculous. High pressure. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll leave you alone. Bitch. Young man, get off my property. I'm not only calling the newspaper, I'm calling the police. You don't even have your solicitor's permit. Son, do you work for the newspaper? Yes, sir. Well, come on over here and get in the car for a minute. Move on. Come on. have a solicitor's permit? Yes, sir, but not with me. You're not the delivery boy, are you? No. Too bad. He don't need a permit. Where's your boss? Uh, he's on his way. I'll just wait over here, okay? I'll tell you where to wait, boy. You're gonna stay with me until he picks you up. We're gonna wait at the beginning of the neighborhood. Basin, the chief at the uh, corner of Spruce Lane and Darby Road. Hold for an ID. What's your name, boy? Uh, Sean Hunley. I, I mean Sanders. Hunley's my stepdad. Hmm. That's uh, S A N D E R S. Yes, sir. Jose Cueva. Jose Cueva. We're not doing no, no, we're not doing no, no, no. Okay, okay, Patron, no. Patron. Two bottles, one for me, one for everybody else. <laughs> Where are we going to get top shelf liquor? Hmm? Okay. Mom just stood there. She, she didn't even say anything. Not a word. My little brothers, they begged for me to stay. She didn't even budge. Oh. Too heavy. Yeah, he's got to blow. 
Fuck, bro. Got weed? Uh, alright, dudes. I had the blow, but. By what? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Principal Dickhead coming all the way down here from his office. Richard Cranium. Mr. Sanders, <clears throat> you're ass with me. Come on, let's go. about the situation. She thinks I need to know. But she doesn't want to force you to go home. Let me make sure I get this right. You stay in this D. Spencer's house now, is that correct? Right, but look. No, you look. I don't need your mom calling here every day, wondering if you're here, wondering where you are. I'm not here to babysit. Besides that, you're a bad influence on Steve Spencer. A bad influence. And I don't need you fucking up my world. You understand that? You're not going to do it. What are you doing with that out at school? You know, I got to confiscate that. You're not supposed to have it. Come on, I'll put it in my locker. No, I'll put it in mine. If you're a good boy, I'm not getting back to you. Am I done? Dismissed. We're done. Son, you just take this shit too seriously. Just like I don't take that rich bitch seriously. Mm, you ought to just do the same. Hell, if nothing else, you could just join the army. They're not getting me. <laughs> You're probably right. You got something, something going on. Probably a college boy. Yeah, right. Bob Dale. But, uh, what'd you say? Officer, is Sean okay? Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Are you his supervisor? Yes, sir. What's the problem? Well, uh, this boy's been selling without his uh, solicitor permit. Now, I'm not going to write him a ticket this time. However, consider yourself lucky. To be honest with you, this old woman calls me every time somebody is mowing the lawn. She thinks she has the right to call the chief of police. I reckon she does. But... I don't want you boys out here selling any more tonight. Any of you. Go round them up. You understand me? Yes, sir. All right. Now, boy, get on out of that car. Get on out of here. Thank you, officer. Anytime. Some bitch called the police. I've sold plenty of times without it before. Well, not anymore. Wait a minute. I think I left my keys over there, Austin. All right, hold on. How many how many orders did you get tonight? None. What? I talked to assholes all night, and then the police. Okay? No, Sean. It's not okay. Can I get my keys? Sean, don't worry about it. You don't even have a car. Okay, get new keys made. You gotta pick up the rest of the crew. That's what the police do. Sean, how can you go an entire night without making one sale? I guess I just didn't have it. Yeah, Sean, and you haven't had it. Not for the last two weeks. Not since that thing with your dad. 
Sean, you have to get over it. I love you, man, but I can't keep you on crew if you can't make a single sale. I'd lose my job. Look, man, why don't I just quit and make room for someone else that can sell? Sean, that's not what I want. I just want... Well, I need some time to get my shit together. Where's Alvin? Tired of the front seat. Take shotgun. If I catch you, I'll put this pump in your hands and pull your throat out with it. I bet you not I'm a Marine. I will kill you. I'm a bad Get the sale? Hey, fuck you, buddy. Hey, Ray. You gotta talk to Sean. What's going on? He's been doing way too much cold. I'm not supposed to tell. Oh, my God. She wants something this afternoon. I was late right today. Would you believe I picked him up? He's gone. Coke? No. No, no I think that's permanent. What about Coke? I think he ditched it and then lost it. He said he lost his keys, but this will explain why he was white as a ghost. That makes sense. So you can quit crew today. Hey, Albie, how you doing up there? Can I ride Fitch again? Fuck you. my fucking payback. Payback, I'm working. Right. Tell you what. You give me what you have left, and then you'll owe me the rest. I don't have any more. Besides, you make enough on crew. And here. Alright, look. Alright. You give me what you have left, and I work my freaking ass off here. And I don't owe you anything. You please got to me. Where's the coke? to ditch it. And you didn't go back for it? Yes, I did, but they disappeared. Look, I'll, I'll pay you back. Why is it every time I walk up, you make me in the Yeah, you're kind of cute. Be your partner, kind of. <laughs> so you want a bike? You can have it while I'm drafted. No, I don't want your bike, all right, Sean? Just get a job, all right? Get a job, and don't worry about this right now. All this, it'll work itself out. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what about Sean? Oh, Sean, yes. You think so? Oh, if only I, I, he's had enough of my nose candy, he should owe me something. something about me? Not in so many words. I know what you want. What you got, bud? Everything. Anything. What do you want? It's your night. Everything? Anything? Sounds good to me. We're going to have to go to Ronnie's house. They're having a party there. Everything. Anything. Hell yeah. How are you? I'm fine, bud. I'm fine, too. Oh, no fish. Hey, bud, did you break the heel on your Jane Fonda come fucking from? Oh, I decided to try to look butch tonight in my cowboy boots. You like them? You're a stud, bud. I think so, too, bud. How about a mouse? Okay, Fawn, here. Try this and tell me if it's any good. You too, Steve. Yeah, no thanks. Fawn, be with my women. Not much of that to do. Okay, well, Fawn, then I'm coming too. Oh, you better not come in the ladies' room. Well, I could never come in there. <laughs> I fit right in, though. Hey, you guys, wait up. I gotta go check on Sean in the bathroom. Get the fuck out of here. says people drink to be happy but you sure don't look happy no i'm not beaver but you know running into a little fella like you kind of, kind of, that kind is of so goofy my father wouldn't feel sorry for me either yeah. he'd probably just kick his ass <laughs> an empty life beaver returns an empty to bottle land. pretty much together this time he's really in trouble beaver <laughs> you know he's got a big joint thing tomorrow. out of his mouth. And I'll up yeah, in the huh? bags okay, Andy. under his bloodshot right, eyes. <laughs> you know he's really joking. <laughs> oh, my darling, no, oh my darling, no, oh my darling, Clementine. So much for me. Yeah. Do you think we'll see him in a group tomorrow? I don't want to talk about group. I hate it, too. Dr. Prickett. Pritchett. Oh. <laughs> He's such a moron. So superior. Now, Sean. Don't you think the level of aggression and peace of mind have improved since you've gone straight? Where does he get this shit? And Sean. Don't you think you could handle the problems of life better? than under the influence 
of cocaine and the confidence that it gives you? <laughs> oh. And by chance, do you masturbate when you think of doctors? <laughs> God, you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> I really like Dr. Morales. Why'd she quit? Because we liked her. Uh, no, really. I just don't think she fit in the program. Mm. Plus, she probably got a better job at a prison or something. <laughs> Sean, you're the only good friend I have here. And I miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. But you can come see me when I'm at Steve Spinnaker's. I'll be staying there again. Or I might even get my own place. My mom said she couldn't handle me. Plus the light at the end of the tunnel was there for you. That's easy for you to say. You get out tomorrow. We have months to go. Yeah. Well, I felt rotten when I first got here, too. I mean, I didn't really think I was going to make it. But I did. And you will, too. I might have killed myself. I'd never do that. Good. subject. How about them Braves? From suicide to baseball. Much better. <laughs> Now. Don't you be crying. What are you doing crying, huh? What are you doing crying, son? Oh, God, you look like a little girl crying. What are you doing?
boy, huh? You little mama's boy. Yeah, You little shit, say something. What did you say? I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Get better at what, huh? Dude, he's strong. <laughs> you go for the muscular type, I can tell. Yes, I do. Wait.
on, Sean. You can do it. You can do it now. Come on, don't be a little titty boy. Don't be a mama's boy. Don't embarrass me, son. Come on. Oh, God, you are, you are a wonderful son of a bitch. I just don't need the bullshit. And I don't need you fucking up my own world. Young man, get off my property. No, Sean, it's not okay. You have everything. I have nothing. But don't fucking touch me again. Kids has disappeared. He's talking about trying to kill himself. Oh my! Oh my God! Why? That's a long story. God. Got a suicide 2306. Could you send a unit in an ambulance, please? Damn it! JD, 
what the hell is going on here? See, well, what do you want me to say? The kid killed himself in my front yard. What the hell do you want me to say? Love your fucking next door neighbor. Well, move. I don't know. I, you know, the kid was trouble. Whoa. This is sweet ladiness. Sweet. Yeah, I know. Hey, guys. Susan's my wife. Big surprise, huh? But I surprise myself sometimes. Got a kid, too. Aha! Another big surprise. Race fertile. Baldea. There's a lot you don't know. It's, uh... It's complicated. Life is complicated. I guess it just took all this happening to really make some right choices in my life. Boys, no, men. You remember the old car trick, right? It's easy to convince the customer that he's only got a couple choices, forgetting that you're only giving him a few options. He could say no or, or just say fuck it. Here we go again. Shut up, this is serious. I say fuck it sometimes. Gotta let it go. Sean believed he only had the choices others gave him. I think sometimes he was forced into choices that he didn't even want to make. I hated to make choices. He messed with his head. Now, guys, I promise you this is the last mushy thing I'm gonna say while we're working on this tonight, but... Too late. Thomas Wolfe wrote in his book of time and the river, Man's youth is a wonderful thing. It's so filled with anguish and magic, and he never comes to know it as it is until it's gone from him forever. I'd like to propose a toast that each of us will live long enough to recognize the truth in that, instead of losing by death that which we all will come to cherish. You say that like it's a eulogy. Sean is not dead. If he is, I will kill him. This got this got to be off the books. You got it? Absolutely. Shit, shit, dare off the books. God damn it. Sanders, you sadistic, twisted little shit. What the fuck is wrong with you, kid? You pull this prank over an iPod? Uh, I gotta give it to you, boy. You got moxie. Can y'all cut this little shit down? I gotta get him into summer school. Where's Sean? I got this for him. I mean, I got this and I'm gonna dedicate this to Sean. And this, this, my friends, will bring him back like magic. Eli, you are out of your mind. You probably want to smoke some of him too if he's dead. <laughs> no, that'd be cool. Sean would like that. Is some of that chi energy? Whoa, <laughs> not funny too. People pass on that, Eli. And no, it would not be cool or thoughtful. Except maybe to a bunch of insensitive, rosted drug lords. Hey, don't you get it? Just because you can't stand your wife, or your parents, or even us, doesn't mean it's cool to try and escape it. Using drugs, or conveniently stealing the neighbor's car, or running over mailboxes, or even this shit. <laughs> Look at you. Look at all of us. 
We don't have to keep fucking up just because it makes other people feel good. Where do you come up with this shit, man? <laughs> you sound like my dad. Look, man, chill out, or I'll have to erase your memory. Well, Zlinka. Drama queen, huh? Yeah, I guess you're right, man. It's only your thoughts that count, right? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe it is just a little thoughtless. The faggots, they're, they're the ones that drugged them up last night, man. Don't be such a redneck. This is the 21st century. I never feel. Sean is headed for it anyways. None of us would face it. Gay is just not a problem. People can fuck anyone they want for all I care. God. Listen to me. I'm already talking in the past tense. Sean is... He's not gay. He's just passed out somewhere. God, his parents are so fucked up. Drugs just made it worse. But his fickle, gay, or bi curious, or whatever, his dick habits had nothing to do with this. Mm. You know what, man? You're right. I mean, shit, I'm starting to sound like my old man. Let's have a brew for Sean. He's fine. Come on, guys. I think you all are overreacting. He just didn't call. Does your whole day end when he goes a day without calling? He's never done that. Unless he was out of town, on vacation with his parents in Zimbabwe. He's called me every fucking day since we became Blood Brothers. What? Don't ask. It was a long time ago. I don't know what's hotter, man, when she comes or when she goes. <laughs> Man, look at this dude. You still don't know what to do with that, man. Nah, I got that hot young pussy. <laughs> it's like I don't even know what I'm doing here, though. What are you talking about? Got all these people to care about, Sean. I know I didn't do anything to help. Just rode his ass. It's like I knew we couldn't take it, but I fucked with him anyway. So you don't deserve to be here? I'm not sure you did you. Oh, come off of that, man. You rode with Sean because you gave a shit. Like your dad fucked with you, he loved you. You fucked with them, you loved them. The apple don't fall too far from the tree, man. You hit the shit. Yeah. Tell hey, you what, one fucked up day at the corner of liquor hangover is really making me hallucinate. Is that thing riding up your ass or what? Yeah. Would you mind? Okay. Cut that boy down. Yeah, let's get him down. He's gonna spend the summer with me in summer school so I can get his ass out. Look, my iPod. I'm gonna give you your iPod, Sanders. Cut him down, fellas, please. It's Powder Springs, goddammit. Boys, I won't know we're responsible for this at all. Get the fuck out of here, boy. This did not happen. No, he is off. Okay? This did not happen. This did not happen in Powder Springs, especially. You understand me now? I, I don't, I don't want to hear it. I want you to get the hell out of here before anybody gets here, the, like, the, the, the newspapers, for God's damn sake. Life goes on. Hey! I got tired of Coke. <laughs> Somebody pour me a Sprite. There's the yeah. ghost. We get serum, man? I love you, I love you. I guess yeah. sometimes you just got to hit him on the head and tell him to quit worrying, huh? Would be nice, wouldn't it? Yo! Jeez! You drink the bastard? Oh! Dude, that was bitching. I thought you were dead. I know, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, oh, funny. Come here. <laughs> I had a little business to take care of today. <laughs> Life is great. 
It's funny. Most people probably wouldn't care if you were a drug addict. But tell them you like a little boy ass from time to time, and whatever your problems are, well, guys just don't talk about that shit. But hey, I'm here. <laughs> I may be queer. I guess that means no draft. And I'm staying sober, with a little help from my friends. And why would anybody kill themselves over just being who they are? When you got people who really love you. I I'm back. I'm sorry I didn't call, but what? Can't take a day without a mulatto? I know, I was, I, I was screaming on the inside, but I guess I just need a little bit of time to think. Oh, they got it. Should've heard them in here crying and whining and stuff like that. Leon. Oh, man, you had me so sick and worried, dude. You couldn't have put a gun to my head to make me feel more. Good to have you back, man. <laughs> so, what was your name? Uh, may never have told you this before, but your sales suck. <laughs> you might be back, though. <laughs> Asshole. You're smart ass. Oh, thank you. Coming back to sack me with a heavy blow And when I slept and kept it steady hold And as I headed into life I had a dread I was already old It was a petty kind of worry though It was a thoroughly unworthy sort of immaturity And so I had to nourish it or let it go And it was difficult at first The worst of me wanted to let it hold I was discouraged by what I heard on the radio These were the words of loss of self-control These were the words of always saying yes and never know And that can never be acceptable some things ain't acceptable Needed a level head to let me know What's right and wrong without this ignorant obsession with the sexual And I was blessed and that's a testament to all I owe To everyone who told me that I had to let it go Who told me that I had to let it go? 